Hey everyone, Mike Mulligan here from Blind on the Move, and welcome back to lesson three of my voiceover training series on how to unlock an iPhone and get to the home screen using voiceover. All right, let's get started. So to unlock your iPhone and get into the home screen, the first thing you need to do is turn voiceover on. And if you're not sure how to do that, if you go back to lesson two, I go through all those steps on how you can turn voiceover on. But once you have voiceover on, the first thing you're gonna need to do to get to the home screen is wake up the phone. And I'm gonna show you three different ways of doing that. So the first way is what's called raise to wake. And this can be toggled on and off in the settings depending on your preference. But the way this works is right now, my phone is with a black screen, it is asleep right now, and it is laying flat on this table in front of me. And with raise to wake, all I need to do is tilt the phone towards me and it will wake up, it will read the time, and it's gonna try and read my face using Face ID to log into the phone. But essentially what you're doing is you're lifting up the phone and because it's raising off the table, it wakes up. So let me demonstrate here. 3.51 p.m and it made a little click because it recognized my face as well. So that's raised to wake. If I put the phone back down, flat on the table, it will eventually shut back off and you can tweak this on settings. If I lift it up again, it'll do raised to wake. 3.51 p.m. And it unlocked again because it recognized my face. So now for the second way to wake up an iPhone. And instead of using raised to wake, which I have turned off in my settings, all I need to do is tap the screen. So it's tap to wake. So I'm gonna tap the screen here in front of me. 3.53 p.m. And it said the time, which is a great indicator that it worked, that it has woken up. So again, I'm gonna tap the screen with one finger, can tap anywhere. 3.53 p.m. And it has uh, woken up. And now for the third way of waking up the iPhone, and that is to use the side button on the right side of the phone. So there's only one button on this side. I have a bluish case and it has a little groove for where uh, indent where it's raised up for the button. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap that. 3.54 p.m. Said the time and it recognized my face again. So that is another way of waking up the iPhone. That side button on the right side of the phone. I'm gonna tap that again. 3.54 p.m. Recognize my face and now it's woken up. So any of those three options is a great way to wake up the phone. And again, if it reads the time, that is confirmation that it is woken up. 3.55 p.m. So now that we've learned how to wake up the phone, now I'm gonna show you how to know or unlock your phone to get to the home screen. So there's several different ways this can happen and a lot of it depends on what settings you have set up in your phone. And what we're gonna do is just go through the different options and you can tweak it in the settings what way works best for you. So number one I'm gonna talk about is Face ID. So Face ID is a way of the phone recognizing a person's face and unlocking it without having, having to type in a passcode. So if you get a new phone, a lot of times they ask you to set this up in the beginning setup process, or you can go into settings and set it up later if you haven't done that already. I find it to be pretty helpful and easy to use. So the way it works is when I wake up the phone, if the phone is pointed towards me with that front camera on the top of it, it will recognize my face and unlock the phone. So first it will read the time and then you'll hear a sound, and I'll demonstrate here in a sec, that will indicate that the phone is unlocked. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna tap the screen and have the phone recognize my face and you'll hear the time and then a sound that sounds kind of like a lock opening up. So here we go. 4 p.m. And it was pretty quick. So it said 4 p.m. and then it made that sound indicating that the face ID works. So let me try again. 4 p.m. And then you heard that click again. So that's probably one of the simplest ways to unlock the phone uh, using Face ID. So now I'm gonna show you the second way of unlocking the iPhone, and that is to type in the passcode, which is a little more complicated, especially with voiceover, but I'll do a quick demonstration here. So if you're using Face ID, and for whatever reason it doesn't recognize your face, it might put you in this passcode mode, or if you don't want Face ID and just passcode is your main protection for your phone, uh, this could be an option for getting into and unlocking your phone. 4.06 p.m., 4.07 p.m. So now I'm going to show you how to enter in a key. So now I'm going to show you how to enter in a passcode. So I'm going to swipe up from the bottom like I'm going to the home screen. Passcode field zero. 
which I'm going to cover here in a minute. So the first way you can type in your passcode is by swiping left or right or flicking left and right. And that will bring you to the different numbers on this, um, this screen here. And it's set up kind of like a phone. It's one, two, three on the top row, four, five, six, middle row, seven, eight, nine, bottom row. And then the very bottom, there's the zero kind of in the middle. So that's the way it's lined up. So you can flick right. Cancel button. Oops, I hit cancel. Cancel button one, two. So you can flick right, Three, and that will bring you through four, the numbers. Five, four, or you can use one of your fingers on nine, the screen and drag eight, it on top of, on top of the numbers five, to get to where to get to where you're looking for. So right now, drag one, it on one, two, three, two, one, five, or flick JKL, left, four, flick, GHI, flick right, five. And when you're on the number you want to enter, so if I were to go down to 8, which is the first number, I will double tap. So it put in 8, Seven. PQRS. tap 1, double tap, Three. double tap, DEF. 3, double tap, 3, double tap. And it Weather. automatically Manchester. goes to the home screen after you put in that 47 password. Degrees Fahrenheit. Mostly edit mode. So it brings you right in after you type in your passcode to the home screen because you already did the gesture to get into the home screen, which we're going to cover now. So now that you know how to unlock the phone, I'm going to demonstrate how you can go from the lock screen to the home screen where all the apps and everything you're going to do is. And it's pretty simple, but it does take a little bit of practice for people to get used to. And the way it works is you're going to be swiping up from the bottom of the screen. And there's going to be different sounds to indicate to you that you have made the right gesture to get into the home screen. So what I like to do as a landmark for people is where it charges kind of in the bottom of your center phone is a good starting point. And then you go up onto the screen because you're going to be dragging from right up on that bottom part of the screen. And you're going to hear two sounds. If you do it correctly, it's going to be like a do do. So a little bit lower and then a higher pitch do do. And when you hear that second, Doop. That means it, you've done the correct gesture and it will bring you to the home screen. And there'll be other sounds to indicate if you didn't do it correctly. So before I actually demonstrate here, I'm just gonna talk one more time about it. So you come up onto the bottom of the screen, you tap your finger on the screen, you start dragging it up the phone and you'll hear a doop. And then you're gonna keep bringing your finger up the phone so your finger stays on the whole time. And then you hear that second doop and that will indicate to you that you've done the correct gesture. So let me demonstrate here. So I'm gonna wake my phone up by tapping it. 4.13 p.m. It's recognized my face, so it's unlocked, and I'm gonna drag from the bottom, and here, lift for home. doop doop, and even a lift for home for confirmation. Weather, Manchester. So that brought me to my home screen. So I'm gonna lock it again and demonstrate. Tap. 4.13 p.m. Drag from the bottom. There's a little white bar there if you're doing this visually. And you heard lift the for home. doop doop, and then lift for home. Weather, Manchester. Again, it brought me to the home screen. I'm gonna lock it. 4.14 p.m. If I do it wrong, or if I bring my finger too high, you'll start to hear this like clicking sound, like you're running into a door. Didn't work. If I don't go high enough, or I miss the starting point. Lift so, for home. So that was correct. But if I go to the side, I go out of the gesture range, it doesn't work. So again, one last time, 4, 14 PM. find the charging port, go up onto the bottom of the screen, tap with one finger, clicking didn't work, try again. Lift for home, 4.14 4, PM. Doop doop. Lift for home, face ID, weather, match calendar. And now I'm back into the home screen. So that takes some practice. If you still have an older phone, you might still have a home button. But for most phones now, iPhones now, you're dragging up from the bottom to enter into the home screen. So I definitely recommend practicing that a, a good amount because it does take a while to get used to. But once you get it and you're used to the sounds, um, you'll, you'll be getting there in no time. And now for a quick recap of lesson three. Number one, we learned how to wake up the iPhone by either using raise to wake by tapping the screen or using the side button. Number two, we learned how to use Face ID as well as putting in a passcode to unlock the phone. And then three, 
we learned how to swipe up from the bottom of the phone to get to the home screen. And that's it for today's lesson on how to unlock the iPhone and navigate to the home screen using voiceover. And in the next lesson, we will be covering how to use basic voiceover gestures to navigate the home screen. And thanks again so much for joining me today and have a great day. Bye.